What's up guys, it's Roger, and welcome back to the channel. Today I'll be teaching you how to use Blink in Trials of Osiris on Altar of Flames. Now my build this weekend is pretty simple, nothing too crazy. I think a lot of this map is going to come down to mid-range fights for the most part, a lot of times in the middle of the map. A lot of people are using DMT, pulse rifles, things like that. What I'm opting to go for is an Igneous Hammer Hand Cannon. This is a 120 of course, so it's going to have a lot of range 82 with 92 impact. I love the roll on this thing. I have Quick Draw and Elemental Capacitor. Of course we're using Blink so I'm on Void, so that's going to give me a bunch of extra stability. And you can see the stability is pretty damn good on this thing. I really love this gun, especially if you can flank around your enemies. This can really help you take them out easily because you have that perfect amount of range from the flanks you usually take on this map to take them out. Now, I have been switching between my primaries, I've been using this and Sunshot. Now, Sunshot is also really good. I used this in last week's trials, and I was teaching you that I was using it, and I've been loving this thing. I've really been getting the hang of it way more, and it's just so good. It has the explosive rounds, so the damage isn't going to fall off as much as other hand cannons that shoot this fast. Of course, with the Catalyst in, it has a lot of range on it itself and stability, great impact. Definitely recommend giving this a go. If you want to play a little more fast and loose and in the enemy's face, then this is the hand cannon you'll want. But if you want to play a little bit farther back, I would definitely recommend going with the Igneous Hammer. And you'll see in the clips that I use both kind of interchangeably. Depending on what the enemies was using, I might have changed. If they had more snipers and long range on, I might have fought them with the Igneous. But if they had more SMGs and whatnot, I might have used the Sunshot so I could kind of combat that. Now after that, I'm using the Wastelander shotgun. I really love this shotgun. Of course, it has that tiny little reticle, so the hip firing on this thing feels amazing. Now besides that, I pairing with that, since you cannot roll quick draw on the Wastelander, have quick charge mod on. That's going to give us 20 extra handling. Really gives us a bunch of handling to just pull that thing out as fast as we can, which you'll need. If you want to take a look at my other mods, you can go ahead and pause on any of these. It's mostly just stat boosts and things to help out the hand cannons. So after all that, let's go ahead and jump into our Void 3.0. So here I'm using Nova Warp. I got a good amount of these today, but I didn't get very many successful ones. The map is okay for using Nova Warp. The fact that it's so open can be a boon for you and also a detriment at the same time. With no roofs for the most part over your head, you can get high with your blink and kind of fall onto enemies, which can be a very good tactic to use with your Nova Warp. But at the same time, all that open area doesn't give you much cover to go between, and so you might just get sprayed down if you're not very good with your Nova Warp movement. Not to mention a lot of people are running tethers and whatnot, so if you would rather run a Nova Bomb, I completely understand that. And either one is fine, in my opinion. After that, we have Healing Rift, Blink, Pocket Singularity, and Scatter Nades. I've really been liking Scatter Nades lately, and there are some perfect spots on this map, especially if you go to mid that I'm going to show you in a bunch of different clips, where you can just smack people with Scatter Nades. And I've really been loving them. And I'll show you later, I have a fragment on that really works well with scatter nades, but definitely recommend giving these a try on this map, and I'll show you exactly where I've been throwing them to get some really nice kills. For the aspects, we have Feed the Void, and Child of the Old Gods, otherwise known as Clarence. I do not like Chaos Accelerant very much, I think it can do some great things, but I'm not willing to sacrifice either of these almost ever to put this on unless I'm doing a for fun build. And now, a big part of that is that this only has one fragment slot, so I like these because we get four fragments, and that's amazing. Speaking of our fragments, we have Echo of Persistence. That's going to let our Devour go from 10 seconds to 15 seconds, as well as extending the duration on any invisibility or overshield that our teammates might give us, so that's always nice. You do lose minus 10 recovery there, so make sure you make up for that because you want to be at 100 recov. Echo of Dilation I've talked about on end. Very, very good stuff. That very fine-tuned radar is always something we love to have, and you really start taking advantage of it and realizing how good it is once you use it for a day or so, so definitely recommend slapping that on. Plus, you get a flat 10 mobility and intellect, which we always love. Now, after that, I have Echo of Expulsion, so whenever we get those void ability final blows, the enemies will explode. We get an extra 10 intellect off of that. I don't even need to run 88 intellect, but it's just kind of what this build has for me right now, so I just run it, but you don't need anywhere above 60 in my opinion. And finishing that off, we have Echo of Undermining, so that's going to let our Scatter Nades weaken targets, and this is what I was talking about works really well with the Scatter Nades. You hit that first tick of the Scatter Nade, it weakens the enemy, and the subsequent ticks are going to do more damage. It's really good stuff. I do notice sometimes it doesn't immediately weaken them, so I'm not quite sure what the heck is going on there, but I don't understand a lot of the intricacies of Destiny, because some things I swear just flat out don't work or weird as hell. But that's everything covered, so now that we have it all covered, why don't we go ahead and blink into some gameplay. 
So a lot of the times I was playing around mid-map. My idea was to get Clarence out and then usually go in, but something like this right here, ignore that first whiff, I just blinked in aggressively with my shotgun and then whipped over to the other guy with my long range hand cannon and was able to take him out. I love taking fights like this. You can see there I throw Clarence at him, looked at my radar and saw this guy, got right behind him and smacked him, switched right back to the hand cannon and was able to sauce him. And that's the great thing. It's like the perfect range on the 120 hand cannon. Even if I had the sunshot on right there, it would have been fine but I really prefer it with the Igneous Hammer a lot of the time. You can see with this peak right here, it's the perfect range for those 120s to just smack the head. Flew in with the nice shotgun out and was able just to smack that guy. And that's the nice thing. You can switch between the aggressive and the back, sitting back play styles so well. Went in with the Nova Warp here. Unfortunately, he went away, but I was able to charge that and hit two people right before I got suppressed. So that was a pretty nice little surprise. So a big thing you need to understand about playing solo trials specifically is setting the pace. And that's something I love to do with Blink. You can see here, I was getting a little antsy and I decided I wanted to set the pace of this match as much faster. So I went in with my shotgun, smacked one, Blink straight up, fell on the other one, was able to smack him and take the third one out. And that set the pace of that match is very fast. They knew I would get aggressive from that point on and I could use that to my advantage. And I love doing that in a lot of my matches. Here's an example of a good scatternade I had. I didn't want to push this guy with a shotgun so I threw the scatternade at his feet and absolutely just one shot at him. Always keep in mind those things can one shot, they can 100, 100 to 0 people, so really use them. On this play, I got a really good flank with my blink, came all the way around these guys, took one out with the sunshot, switched to my shotgun, flew in, took him out. Kind of missed this shotgun blast here, but was able to clean it up with a nice melee and take all three out. And that's what I mean, you can use your blink to get such amazing flanks, because you can get around the enemies, especially when they're not watching their radars. Here I used my blink very, very aggressively, blinked over this guy, took him out, Flicked 180 really quick and was able to take his friend out. Blink straight up because I saw this guy hitting me and took out my hand cannon and was able to finish all three of them off. And that's a great thing you can do by getting aggressive. Now in this clip I have my Clarence out. I wanted to res the teammate, but this guy just kept shooting at me. Clarence goes and picks up Papa a kill. And I want to show I blink on these next two guys and get shotgun kills. And I come from very high above. Now usually I would recommend not going from this high above, but I like to do it on this map solely because there is no roof, so it's so high, and you can really take advantage of the height you can get on those blinks, and if you do it early on, you can really take people by surprise and take them out. Now here, I threw that scatter night out, did a little bit of damage and weakened that one guy, so I decided to blink forward and get up on him. Teammates helped take him out. Clarence sucked that guy's butt cheek for a second, so I shot him, and then Clarence finished him off, and that was really nice. Now this is a place I really like to start, and this is one of those perfect scatter nades I was telling you about. If you see somebody right there, you throw it into that corner, and they get demolished. And after that, you can push just like this with your shotgun, and absolutely wipe the enemy team out. So really be paying attention to that, watch your radar, and especially with the dilation, and when you see those people in those spots, be ready to take them out. Now here I was just looking for these enemies, they kept running around me, I got a really nice blink over this guy's head, slid back into him and took him out, and was able to map his teammate, and it was a beautiful, oh, and they teabag first by the way. Now this was a case where the little scatternade I put here didn't end up getting the kill, but it still caused a lot of chaos, which allowed me to pull out my shotgun and get very aggressive. And I ended up wiping all three of them here. It got a little crazy for a second, but luckily I have slide shot on my shotgun, which let me reload, turn around on this guy, and take him out, and it was such a beautiful play. Now this match was 4-0, and I did not intend to throw it at the end. I saw my teammate was getting pushed upon, so I decided to take my shotgun out and see if I could save him. Unfortunately, I wasn't able to, but I did absolutely map the enemy and took him out. Clarence went out, I did a very far blink into the sky and fell right onto this guy, and luckily my teammate and Clarence helped me out, and we were able to secure that 5-0. Now I love sitting in this spot a lot of the time, put my rift down, I would send Clarence out, and I would just kind of hold down. I got a really nice scatternade there, which did some good damage, and actually picked the kill up. And uh, then I died, so I'm not going to show you the rest of that one. But again, I love this spot. I came here a different time. This time I have the sun shot on. So I started looking for the enemies. I see them on the radar to the left. Throw out a nice scatter need to kind of cut off some area over there. And then blink in with my shotgun, getting ready to hit whoever I need to. Was able to smack that guy, and the last teammate took out the third one, and we won that round. Now still showing how great these scatter nades are, you can see this here, they're going to have two guys come at me from the right side here, and I throw a beautiful scatter nade and absolutely destroy one, do good damage to the other one, and my teammates are able to finish him off, and then me and my teammates solo the last guy with some good team shots. But you got to see how good those scatter nades are, especially for kind of panic situations, you can really throw them when you're panicking sometimes and get something out of it, which is good when you're going to die a lot of times. Now this was another beautiful scatter nade spot, throw it right into there on a really nice arch, and you'll pick up a lot of kills like that. Clarence was ticking on this guy so I knew exactly where he was while following the damage numbers. I was able to take the third guy out and absolutely wipe them off the map. Coming into this play though, I really want to emphasize how good the Igneous Hammer is with the range that it has. 
you can see I'm hitting 68s to the head from this range all the way across the map. Throw a nice scatter nade in there, which finishes off one guy, and I blink aggressively now that I have Devour proc'd off of my grenade and get this nice little kill. Now I did a whiff a bunch on this guy, I just couldn't catch him, but I did eventually get up next to him, was able to punch him in the butthole and just knock him out of the map real quick. Coming in this one, I just want to show you how good this sunshot can be as well. It doesn't have as much range, but you can see right here, you can just decimate the enemy team. I mean, they were kind of walking at me, but still, it's a great gun and it's nice to show it off a little bit. Another play I'm going to show off this spot right here. If you're playing in mid, I would really recommend going here sometimes. I saw the red of the sniper light and decided I want to do a slide peek. He did have a shoot through shield though, so I decided to blink over here and take my chances with some close range, close range fighting, which was pretty good. I proc my devour off of that melee kill, was able to get on this guy and heal off my devour again. Now looking at the last guy, I thought I had a bullet loaded because I slid earlier, but my slide shot did not load it until I was right next to him, which ended up working out, but it was close. I used a blink to get out of dodge right there just because I was almost going to die, and this is a great flink you can do. Now it's better with the igneous hammer because this range is perfect for the igneous, but like I was saying, there's not crazy damage fall off with a sunshot, so right here is still a good range for it. I was deciding to go for a crazy push with my blink, and I definitely should have died, but he was just missing his shots. But again, do not go for that kind of push, and do as I say, not as I do all the time, you know, that was not good barely whiffed a headshot there else I could have killed that guy but it ends up being okay I was looking at my radar especially using my dilation and saw this guy pushing dark tunnel so I went over there slid in and took him out this had my devour proc because I used my melee there which is good because I had to come onto this guy and take him out I was looking for the last man took my igneous hammer out turned around hit some nice shots and was able to smack him and get all three kills that round coming into this one I was just looking around looking at my dilation radar well i didn't have dilation because i wasn't crouching but you can see there i send clarence out and i was looking for the ticks of damage and this is a blink i would highly recommend using slide against that wall and you get on the ground really quickly and then you can take them out i blink forward again whipped a shot there and realized i did not have any ammo but it was okay i was able to smack him in the face took out my hand cannon really quickly switched to this guy's head and took him out for a nice three piece our next play has me going ultra aggressive again. I just wanted to get up on these enemies, and this was pretty early on in the day, honestly, but it was a longer play, so that's why I'm showing it here. Now, I was looking for this last guy, my slide shot reloaded my shotgun. I blinked above that air grenade there, so I wouldn't take any damage, and then fell down and took him out. My teammates did kill the last guy later on, so we won that round. Now, I was taking some shots here, but this guy was using his lame and it was really pissing me off, so I decided to change my strategy up, and that's why I took my shotgun out and went for a bit of a flank. Now, this guy was not looking at his radar, so I was able to easily take him out. And then I took a very high blink. I should have gone more for an angled blink, but it kind of worked out. He lived with one HP, and then the map started cucking me a bit. I couldn't jump up there, and then I got this blink off, and this rock flew in front of my face. I was getting annoyed by this point, but I was able to hit one last headshot and finish that guy off. Starting this play, I put my rift down, grabbed Clarence, but unfortunately this guy throws a suppressor grenade at me, so Clarence had to go back to the void. Now, I was just taking shots. With your sunshot, you kill titan shields pretty quickly, so it's a nice thing to do. Now I was looking around, seeing what my options were. One of our teammates just died, so I decided, whatever, I'll just get aggressive. It's the first round. I can set the pace of this match as aggressive right now. That's exactly what I did. I blinked behind this guy, and then I looked at my radar and saw he was actually behind me. So I blinked behind him one more time and took a primary fight because I knew my primary shot was going to be better, and I was right and was able to take him out and win that first round. Now, coming into here, another first round, this was a very good scatter nade again. Right into that cubby, you absolutely smack people. Take some shots with your hand cannon as well, and that's going to definitely secure you some kills. I did very aggressive with my shotgun here, smacked this guy, and he barely lived. I was really annoyed by that, but I was able to blink around here, and Clarence picked the kill up for me. Looking for the last guy, I slid in, hit some shots, but unfortunately he got that res off, and my entire goal there was just to do as much damage as I could before I died, and luckily the teammates burn went and took him out, and we actually won that. These last few plays here are going to be some longer ones, so if you enjoyed those, then good job sticking around to the end. Now, I was challenging this Lame on Arc, I wouldn't exactly recommend doing that, but I was actually able to smack him pretty well. Put my Rift down so I could grab Clarence and get some extra healing, which let me smack this guy and send Clarence out. Now, luckily, Clarence, my boy, was ready and picked up that last little tick of damage for Papa. Now, I decided to fly in with the shotgun here and was looking for this last guy, and I saw him right there. Before his Axiom was able to track onto me, I blinked in front of it so I got out of the range and absolutely smoked him with a nice shotgun shot although the teammate did get that one last tick of damage now i was looking around for the enemy here looked at my radar and saw him i thought clarence was the enemy for a second there so that's why i kept shooting but then i saw him over here threw a scatter nade was able to pick him up and then i freaked out a little bit because the ground there was uneven and it kind of messed me up but i was able to blink out and just reinitiate it right here now it got a little crazy but luckily the team the enemies that i was fighting here kind of freaked out i proc my devour full healed proc my devour again full healed again blinked away took out my hand cannon and smacked this guy in the skull to heal one last time and pick up that round for the boys 
Now coming here, you can see, I saw this guy was probably getting some extra resist from that. A little stasis bubble, and I was just using the sunshot here. Now I had Clarence, and I wanted to get him out, and luckily he started going right there, so that's why I wanted that challenge. I knew he had to run away, so I waited for him to run, and then took those shots and was able to clap him. Now I was looking for the other two, and I didn't know where they were, so I just decided to blink forward here, and unfortunately my teammates got smacked. Now, I was blinking away from this guy, threw a scatter nade at him, and did not pick it up. I was afraid he was going to go and res the first guy that I killed, so all I had to do was commit to this kill so I could keep it a 1v2. To my surprise, he did not go for that first res and wanted to fight me, so I was fine with that. My melee was apparently out of range there, but I was able to clap him and secure that. Well, if you watched this far, then thank you very much. If you enjoyed, leave me a like, comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell if you want to see more in the future. I want to hit a thousand in the next few months, so if you want to leave me a subscription, I would really appreciate it, and I'd be happy to have you. Beyond that, if you want to talk to some fellow Blink Warlocks, go ahead in the description and join the Blinkville Discord server. I'll be happy to have you and have some discussions. If you have any questions, feel free to ask them. I love talking with anything about Blink or Destiny in general, or anything else, to be honest. All that being said, thank you for watching, and have a good day, Guardians.